Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at another tragic story of infidelity from Reddit Cheating Stories. So without further ado, my wife might have cheated with her friend's ex-boyfriend. Hi everyone. I heard it's very helpful to be here and I hope so. I think something from my wife's past has come back to haunt me. I want to talk about it with strangers because even though I think my wife is having a physical affair, there's still a chance I'm overreacting. With everything going on, it looks like my wife's been unfaithful. Me, 31 male, and my wife, 30 female, live in Detroit and have a great marriage. About 11 years ago, I was visiting my wife at her parents' house and her best friend got in my face and asked me why I didn't put a ring on my wife's finger yet. While her best friend, we'll just go and call her Mandy, was grilling me, my wife wasn't stopping her, so I got the point pretty quick. Since I cared about her so much, I was happy they felt that way. After that, I started to make moves to one day marry her. Two years after that, we got married, and we now have two beautiful daughters. Getting married was one of my happiest days, and I always planned one day to be a good husband and father. My wife wanted a pretty big wedding, and a lot of people attended. We even got some of our relatives from Puerto Rico to attend. Me and my wife weren't rich, but we were good providers, and our kids were always good. My wife was always a great person. She's smart, fun, and she has a great sense of humor, which you don't expect from gorgeous women like her. She was a good mom, and our daughters who are seven and four years old love and respect her. Our oldest even acts like her. This is something I would always tell her. And she was gorgeous. I loved her pretty smile, her brown eyes, and especially her amazing behind. She was the type of girl who struggled a little to put some jeans on, and whether it was in a sexy dress or some tights, it was visible on her slim figure. She always loved how she looked and it caused my mom to believe she had an ego. She might be right, but I never really minded. I work in a renovation project facility and my wife owns her own nail salon. This never surprised me because she was always a fashionista, which she disagreed about. My wife was always up on the latest trends and had to have everything new. Whether it was the new iPhone, new heels, new brand name clothes, she had to have it. This made me roll my eyes, but it was her money so I couldn't say anything. Until she became a parent, and it made her have to cut back. Instead of keeping up with the glamour girl life, she now focuses on our daughters more. She's now used to the last year's model iPhone and cut back on designer clothes for Disney characters our daughters love wearing. The only time she wears her good clothes is on holidays or vacations. Even though that's the case, I had to splurge less as well. It doesn't matter because our kids are more important, and my family is my priority. Everything seemed okay, but now I'm seeing problems after me and my wife ran into her old friend's ex. Me and our family were at the supermarket buying some groceries. Our oldest reminded her about Pop-Tarts, and my wife told me to go with her to get them. After finally making her decision on a new flavor, we came back to the aisle to see my wife laughing and talking to some guy. When my daughter interrupted them with the Pop-Tarts, my wife introduced me to him. She said this guy was apparently the ex-boyfriend of her old friend, let's just call her Tasha. At first I couldn't remember who Tasha was. Then I remembered she used to work with Tasha at some old job before my wife had started up her own business. This guy, we'll call him Trey, seemed happy to see us and was friendly, so I didn't mind at first. Trey and my wife caught up a little bit more and it was awkward to see her smiling all in his face and seemed a little too happy to see him again. After waiting patiently, I signaled it was time to cook dinner, and Trey laughed saying it was good to see us. On the ride home, my wife told me how surprised she was to see him in the supermarket. She said she was more surprised that Tasha and Trey broke up. I asked how long it had been since she had spoken to Tasha, and she said about four years. After hearing that, I thought to myself that they definitely lost touch. At first I thought that would be the last I'd heard about Trey, but as time went by, I noticed that Trey and my wife kept in touch. They would talk on the phone and also on her social media. He would mention me every once in a while, so I thought nothing about it because I felt included. They started talking more frequently and the conversations got longer, even up to after hours. But I started getting suspicious when Super Bowl Sunday came around. On the day of the Super Bowl, my wife was talking to Trey on the phone when I asked her a question. After answering me, a little while later, she came to me and said, Trey wanted to talk to me. Surprised, I took the phone and asked him what's up. He asked me if I was going to watch the Super Bowl and I told him I planned to. 
when he asked me who I was going for and said sarcastically the Lions. Laughing, he said he was too, and he offered to watch the game with me. I told him that would be great, but we were going to have a bunch of kids over, and I doubted he would want to deal with that. Laughing, he said, never mind, and I passed the phone back to my wife. I thought that was the end of it. But a couple hours later, my wife came back and said that Trey wanted to talk to me again. He said if I could get away, there was a Super Bowl party a friend of his was having, and I could go watch it with them. My wife told me she would call her brother and tell him to pick up his kids earlier and we could go a little late, and I decided to go. After he came and got his kids, me and my wife got ready to go and got there around the halftime show. While talking to everybody, I understood that the party was being thrown because somebody was a die-hard Cincinnati Bengals fan. The person who threw the party argued with who would win and wanted the Bengals to lose. He definitely got his wish, and the Bengals lost to the Rams, and it stopped the guy from being a loudmouth. After having a good laugh at this guy's expense, we all just enjoyed the game together. It was at this point where I started to get suspicious because of how my wife was interacting with Trey. I didn't like how she was all in his face, and I felt left out of the conversations. I thought it was because I wasn't being social enough, and put myself in the conversations more. At some point, I asked him about why him and Tasha broke up. Trey said he and Tasha were just casually dating, they weren't really serious back then. My wife laughed and said she was surprised because Tasha really liked him. After a while, I said I had to go and get another Smirnoff and walked into the porch where the cooler was. After I was mingling with some people on the porch, I went back in the house. Going back in, I was looking for my wife and saw them talking in a corner. I was about to walk over to them, but I felt a weird vibe about how they were talking. He was a little too close to her and was acting all predatory with her. I paused and stayed out of sight to see what was going on. He held my wife's hand and she was all giggling and all shy. After that, she walked into the kitchen and he followed her while looking at her ass. All I could say was, WTF. But then I moved a little closer to get a good look in the kitchen. Standing by the sink, my wife was talking to some girl and her back was turned away from Trey. While talking to my wife, the girl looked at Trey and could see that he was looking at her. I think she told my wife, and my wife looked back and smiled at him. Turning back to the girl, she continued their conversation knowing that Trey was looking at her ass. Usually I love the way my wife dresses, but now I was feeling very paranoid. My wife would talk to the girl and then look back and smile at Trey as he continued to take glances at my wife's ass in her yoga pants. And my wife wouldn't budge. She would just look at him like she was saying, I know you want to do me. Even though they would try to play it off, they would go back to looking at each other. And you would notice if you were paying attention. All I could think was, I hope I'm not seeing what I think I'm seeing. After the girl said something to my wife, she followed her back into the living room and she ended up seeing me. She asked me what the guys on the porch were talking about, and I told her nothing much and that I was ready to go. She said she wanted to stay longer, but I reminded her that her brother was still watching our kids, waiting on us so he could leave. After we said goodbye to Trey and everybody, we went back home, especially since we both had to work tomorrow. Riding back, I had to tell her what I saw. In the car, I told her it looked like Trey was trying to hit on her, and she acted like I was crazy. She laughed it off and said I was wrong. I left it alone, but I wanted to start paying more attention to them after what I saw. He was definitely looking at her ass. The more I paid attention, the more suspicious I had noticed she was acting. She always had her phone. She always brought up Trey to me and her best friend Mandy. Then she started handcuffing her phone, talking all the way in the early morning. One night I asked, was she still talking to Trey? She just shot me a look and said she was. After that, she hung up the phone after about five minutes. After a while, I got tired of her talking so late and asked her to talk in the daytime with him. And her excuse was that she talks to Mandy then. And when I told her it was real inappropriate to talk to Trey so late at night, she'd laugh and say I'm acting paranoid. Everything I'd try and say, she would dismiss it and say I'm worried about nothing. All my questions did make her stop bringing up Trey, however. I guess she thought it would stop me from getting all upset, but it didn't. Two days ago made me believe the worst. On my wife's day off, she said she was going over to her friend Mandy's house to do her mom's nails. Since I knew about this a couple of days ago, I wasn't really suspicious. Later on that night, my youngest daughter asked me if we could eat pizza, but I told her that her mom was cooking dinner. She made a big fuss about it, and since I was in the mood for pizza as well, 
I decided to call my wife and tell her she didn't have to cook anything. When I called my wife, it went straight to voicemail. I tried again and the same thing happened. I had to ask myself why the hell was her phone off and that this never happened before. I let half an hour pass and her phone still went to voicemail. After that, I decided to call Mandy. When I called Mandy, she actually picked up. I asked her, was my wife there? And she said she left. I said I thought she was going to do Mandy a favor and do her mother's nails for her, but she said she got a phone call and just left. I asked her who called, and she said she didn't know, but she was mad that my wife told Mandy to tell her mother to come by her nail salon tomorrow. This surprised me because Mandy was like a real sister to her, and to hear that this happened was just effed up. After hanging up with her, I called around and nobody called my wife, so to me this left only Trey. I got so angry I couldn't believe this was happening. At the Super Bowl party, Trey told us where he stayed, but I didn't know the address, only the street. If my wife was there, I knew he was doing her. After grabbing my keys, I was just about to walk out the door, when I remembered my kids were still in their room playing. Grabbing my phone, I called my mom to see if she could babysit for a while, but she didn't pick up the phone. My best friend, let's call him Marcus, was my last option, so I called him up. When he picked up, I asked him what he was doing, and he said his girl was cooking dinner. I told him I was about to ask him for a favor, and he asked me what it was. I told him never mind, it was too big of a favor, but he asked me again, so I told him I think my wife was cheating on me. After telling Marcus, he went silent. It was the last thing he'd think I'd say. He asked me if I was serious, and I told him everything. He said that he couldn't come and watch the kids, but I could bring the kids to him. This pissed me off because he lived on the other side of town. After getting the kids ready, it took about 30 minutes to get there. After getting to Marcus, he asked me if I did know where Trey lived. I told him the street and he looked at me like I was crazy. The street Trey lived on was a long avenue and he asked me if I was really going to drive all the way down the street to find them and I said yeah. When I was about to leave, he stopped me and told me to go in his car. He said if I'm wrong and they see my car, my wife would call me a crazy husband and at least they wouldn't recognize his car right away. After handing me the keys, he told me don't do anything crazy in his car. He asked did I want him to come with and I said no. It's already effed up that he's involved. He took the kids and I made my way to try to find my wife. Hopefully I wasn't too late and I could bust her in the act. But I hoped I was really wrong about this. But my instincts as a man still bothered me. After a long ride, I made it down the street Trey lives on. Slowing down, I tried to look for my wife's silver Kia. It was a terrible neighborhood, but at this point I couldn't care less. All the suspicious BF my wife was doing led me to this. I really was hoping I couldn't find her car here. But eventually I did. Not only did I see her car, but I saw her and Trey as well. She was wearing a pink sweatsuit, and Trey had on nothing but a wife beater and some shorts and flip-flops. She looked like she was getting ready to leave, and I couldn't believe what I saw. I mean, the guy practically had no clothes on, and I didn't like how he was again too close to her. Driving past, I threw a fit in the car. I kept saying, he effed her, I know he effed her. I didn't have any other explanation except he was doing my wife, and I bet magically her phone works now. Not only did I catch her all hugged up with this guy, now I had to try to beat her home. When I got home, I was surprised to see that me and the kids beat her home with time to spare. After putting the kids to bed, I decided to wait up for my wife to come in. Almost 40 minutes later, she came in the door and she was acting unhappy to come back. Looking over at me, she walked right past me and went in the bedroom. Her not saying anything really blew my mind. I walked in our bedroom immediately and asked why her phone was turned off and she told me that she had never turned it off. She says her phone died and she had to charge it up. I asked her where she was and she said she already told me she was over at Mandy's house. I told her Mandy said she'd left and she brushed it off like she was irritated. She said that doesn't mean she wasn't there and it just blew me away that I was going through this right now. I asked her did she leave Mandy to be with Trey and she hesitated for a minute before saying yeah. I asked, she didn't say anything and she told me it didn't matter. She said she's tired of me having a problem with Trey, and she just wanted to leave this alone because she was tired. She asked me did the kids eat, and I told her we went out to eat. Not even asking questions, she went back to the living room to watch TV and be on her phone. After that night, she's not the same wife that I knew. Now she doesn't talk to me, she's always texting on her phone in the dining room. And she always looks at me like she wants to get away from me, but she can't. This is BS because she's acting like I did something to her when all I do is cater to her and whose battery dies in the middle of the day. I really don't know what to do and I need to make a decision on my gut feelings. 
I don't know for sure if she cheated, but her behavior has been a bunch of red flags. I hope I'm overreacting, but the signs are there, especially at the Super Bowl party. They've been talking all day. He's been looking at her ass at a party and she allowed it, and now she's meeting up at his house secretly? He has to be doing her. I'll try to update once I find something solid, but I really need to know if I'm overreacting. Absolutely disgusting. Sounds like they organized this all together at that Super Bowl party. Hell, it could even be that the supermarket meeting was a setup as well. She's probably been seeing Trey on the side for a lot longer than OP realizes. Just that her and Trey thought it would be easier for them to get it in if her husband thought he was just a good friend. She belongs to the streets. So let us know what you think about this one down in the comments. We'll keep an eye out for an update as OP mentioned towards the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for more stories. Until next time.